Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. In the last episode, we escaped from Valua with the assistance of Enrique, the prince, and he joined our party. Now we have a brand new, really big ship, and we've got some things we're supposed to do. Our next actual destination is Pirate Isle. Thank you. However, before we go there, and we can get there, while we cannot get through um, sky rifts or reefs, we can get through the Danel Strait. But before we do that, we want to do some, well, that's that was nice, actually. We want to head, or excuse me, our next actual thing is Crescent Isle, but we actually want to go to Pirate Isle. There's Shrine Island. And, let's see. Do, do. Um, map. Okay, we just need to keep heading south. Well, you know me. Ah. Okay, well, oh crud, you know what I should do? I need to, I should stop and do some moon burying. We'll do that in a sec. But, you've seen the enemies, but you have not seen Enrique, so uh, we'll show him off a bit. All right, Vice, um, Skull Shield, I cut, Delta Shield, uh, Fina, attack, oh, the Ghastling, I had forgotten, um, Enrique, uh, yeah, he doesn't have any S moves just yet, attack, the Grouter. I mean, these things are going to be ridiculously weak. Yeah, as you can see, even Fina can one-shot these things. That was nice. Yeah, Enrique's pretty strong. And Maroka don't have much aside from, you know, just physical attacks anyway, so yeah. That was easy. Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, you see how much experience we got. This is not a place to grind. Although, I, if you wanted to grind magic spells without... Uh, let's see. How are we? We have seven moonberries. Excellent. We... This is... This is okay. Royal Blade. This, on the other hand, is extremely nice. Justice Shield. He's only got one more. Which, we're not going to do that one just yet. Vice, this is your last one. That one's pretty awesome, but I'll wait on it too. Uh, Ike has got two left. Going to wait on that too. Because Fina, this is her last one. It's amazing. It only uses 18 SP. There. We're now out of Moonberries, but Lunar Light, it is... If somebody's dead, it will revive them with full HP. It removes all status effects, and it's a full heal. Yes, you have to get to... Um... You have to get up to 18 SP, which will take some focusing. But still pretty nice. All right. We're going to dock here at Pirate Isle. Because we can get a crew member here. And we can also get that cham I passed up. Meet the only person who says a damn thing to us. Ab the, about how life has changed. Hey there, Vice. I heard that you not only managed to escape from Valua again, but you stole one of their best ships as well. That's incredible. But we've got a new ship too. We just finished the last preparations on the Albatross 2. We've been working on it for a long time in the underground port, and it's finally finished. I can't wait to take her sailing. Yeah, if you talk to Dine, all he says is, all he does is tell you about the swashbuckler rating. Which, speaking of... That's what that next page is, by the way. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, Vice. 
Vice the Daring. So yeah, that's pretty high. Um, I don't have the actual swashbuckler chart memorized, but we're pretty high. Uh, and that's one of the things is swashbuckler ratings. Uh, yeah, talk to the dog, by the way. Uh, swashbuckler ratings if affect recruiting crew members. Um, Vice, we wanted you to, to wanted to ask you to do something for us. We really wish we could go with you and help out, but we're still too young, I guess. Well, that's what our parents say. So instead, we want you to take Pow with you. He'll help you out instead. Pow, Pow! Pow has always been there for us. Whenever we needed someone to cheer us up, he was there. And we were just thinking that maybe if Pow could go with you, he could cheer you up whenever you needed it, you know? <laughs> I see. Well then, Pow, looks like you're the newest member of my crew. You hear that, Pow? Vice is going to take you with him. You're going to get to sail on that big ship with his crew. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah. As a jester of sorts. Yeah, so Pow, uh, he, well, you'll, we'll, we'll talk about crew in, in a bit. Let's go get... Okay. Doors that I can see, it takes me four tries to get through. The door that's flush with this cliff face and hidden? First try. What the hell, brain? Okay. So, this is where... Okay, so it's here, here, roughly here. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I know, Vice. Maybe it's closer to here. There we go. So, yeah, that... That's a ch that's a jam I had wanted to get for ever and a day. Okay. Um, let's see. I had actually at some point I am going to respec Cupel. But for now, we're going to go in first of all. Um, there's a couple other things I really want to do. So, Fina items. No, not the chams. Uh, we got two more chams. Let's feed them to Cupel. Fina. Cupel spike. Okay. I wish there was a way of telling... I mean, the only... The actual... Okay, do you see how Fina, by the way, is at rank six? With green? That means... You know what I need to re- I should respec spec Enrique. Uh, Enrique. Equipment. Your rapier is spec to z yellow. Obviously. I don't... I'm okay. There. Your rapier is respec to- is spec to yellow. I'm going to spec you to silver. There. That was everything we needed to do here, but we did want to get the dog. So, and get the cham. So, yeah. This, this island, the way this island is laid out. Other than that, our mom will just tell us that we look tired. Do we want to sleep? Dine will, like I said, tell us about the swashbuckler rating. The lookout up here is the only person who actually comments on the fact that we stole a ship from the Valuans. So, that's a thing. Now we're going to go to Sailor's Island. Because there are th three people we can recruit there. Uh, north, doofus. Yeah, there's, I, there are islands in there, but I don't think there's anything there. It's just something to look at. Just straight north. Well, it's really north and east. There's Shrine Island. That was a weird noise. Uh, you know what? Let's show off, um, Enrique's move, by the way. Vice, you are going to attack, um, just att 
attack the looper. You'll be fine. Ika is going to use Delta Shield. Fina, just attack the other looper. Enrique, you're going to use Justice Shield. Now. Well, you know what the move's called. Um, this basically gives everyone the... They're guarding. Everyone is guarding. They will not necessarily do a count. They won't do a counterattack. Sweet. I mean, not that loopers are going to give us much, but let's see. Vice, um, actually, Vice. Cutlass Fury. That looper. I could just attack the Maroka. Fina, attack the other Maroka. Enrique, attack the Maroka. Yeah, just a shield. It basically gives everyone the attack that they are guarding. Um, so you take half damage. It's not bad. Thing is, of course, you know, it, it only lasts a turn. But the reason to use it instead of Skull Shield, which, of course, negates damage and has a counterattack, is that it uh, frees Vice up to use, eventually, that's strange, isn't it? I don't remember this there. Hmm. That's a little odd. I don't remember that. But it's just there. Right. You know, stay down low enough so we can get through here. We're gonna go to Sailor's Island because I want to, I've got some crap to sell. Actually, I've got a lot of crap to sell. Come on out, and up. There we go. That should get us here. Good. Alright, we've got a lot of crap to sell because we're going to need 110,000 gold. So, uh, vice. Hmm. Items? Does that... Do you, no, of course you don't. Uh, right. Vice. Next page, I think, is what we need to do. Yeah. Journal? Read journal discoveries. Come on. Tell me how much gold I have here. Never did have used the pin to quest. Let's see. Oh, the Delphinus, by the way. Yeah, that's the... Uh, we got... Value. Really? Come on. I was hoping I'd get somebody telling me something telling me how much gold I've got. Alright, well that's fine. We're just gonna go, um we're gonna go to the part the uh item store and sell off some shit. Well, also the, the sh actually I'm gonna go to the ship parts place and sell off some shit thing is, I mean, we, do, we could uh, honestly talk to anybody. It's Vice! You're so lucky. You get to have people call you Vice the Daring. I wish they wouldn't call me Daring. Mm hmm. Alright. So we are going to sell ship parts. Uh, might as well sell this shit too. Alright. Um, yeah. Gilder did leave his mail with us. I mean, I probably ought to. See, we have more than enough gold. You need one th a hundred thousand and ten. But we cannot use any of these ship parts. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we can use the torpedoes. So I'm not going to sell them. But I'm pretty sure... Actually... I'm actually I'm pretty sure we can use the torp we can't use the torpedoes so 
Yeah, we're just getting rid of all this shit. Sorry, Sin Team, your propellers were really useful, but we just don't need them anymore. Because none of the stuff for the little jack will fit on the, um... Alright. Okay, no, Gear Grease restores spirit. Alright. Uh, bye. I actually want to see if you have... Yeah, we, so we actually could use have an engine cover and an armored deck. Oops. I was hoping you had the stuff I wanted. Yeah. But as you can see, the cans won't work. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll buy one of these. Yeah, I know, I sold them back, and... But... Alright, and then... Two armored decks for now. There we go. That's not so bad. Alright, I was hoping you'd have the other stuff, but... Oh, shit. Well, now we have an extra armored deck. Uh. I want out of here. I'm gonna just sell that back, and yes, I know... It's not. All right, hold on. Wait. Screw it. Okay. You got anything new to say? You may, may not be directed by the strength of the user. Yep. Yeah, that's... That's why I always wanted Drachma firing the main cannon. He was the strongest. Uh, let's see. Something else we should do while we're in here. Yeah, we can't do anything about that. Um, excuse me. What I need to do is vice items. There we go. Uh, you remember these captain stripes? Let's use them. Now, the thing is that they're actually, like, um, there's a word I wanted to use. They are basically, like, seeds. I gotta talk to you, just to find out. Uh, a huge hole in the gate of the Great of the Grand Fortress! They're seeing the same guy who escaped from Valua before is the one who is responsible for it! Man, it's too incredible! Have you not worn a hole in the seat of your pants with all that squirming? Oh no, I guess you do turn over occasionally. So, Pinta! So, you finally have your very own ship, huh? Maybe it'll make things easier for the both of us if I just go with you. So, Pinta has joined your crew as a delegate. So that's cool. We definitely want that. Let's see. Let's talk to these two guys. Word is that the Nasr capital, Nasrat, has been attacked by the Armada and reduced to ruins. I used to know quite a few merchants in Nasrat, Osman among others. It worries me when I think about their well-being. Yeah, yeah, well... You're asking me to join your ship's crew? I only join crews when the owner of the ship is willing to pay me what my skills are really worth. I want 10,000 gold. Get me the money, and I'll come aboard. Okay. 10,000 gold, you say? All right, I'll pay. Yeah, he's expensive, but you know, he's worth it, especially if you want 100% completion. All right, uh, we're gonna go in here. Wait, no, we're not. Well, yeah, wait, yes, we are. Because remember to cat's coin? I'm pretty sure. Buy and sell discovery information, sell info, no info to sell. Okay. And I don't want to buy info. Um, talk about various things. Huh. I thought we could sell, uh, well. I guess we can sell it to a, we should go to an item shop and sell it. Because, uh, we can get a crap load of, a crap ton of money from the, we have more than enough, but we really ought to just do it anyway. Uh, the Zivlin Bane items. 
Besides, we're going to be needing to outfit shit eventually. So, Vice the Daring. Yes. Uh. Alright, let's see here. So, we can sell the Unholy Dagger for a lot of money. Okay, we got the electric box, magic drop of sacrifice crystal. Just keep looking. Rune of Ill Omen. That's another one. Yeah, at this point... Let's see. Golden Mask. Soul Crystal. Okay. Hmm. At some point, we can sell the cat's coin, but... Yep. Uh, actually, I do want to see what she has in the way of items. Okay, we can get some Sacrum Crystals, which I would like to do. Uh, no. Eight is good, I think. Uh, Sacralin Crystals, um... Just two more of those is fine. I think I'm okay on the others. Glyph of Might, I want... that many. I don't feel like I need other stuff. And yeah, I can buy charms if I want them. I don't think we need them right now. Oh, but I bought one anyway. Ugh. Exit. Ah, me and buttons. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know, but we don't really need to sell the cat's coin because we have more than enough money. So now we go to the inn. For, let's see, for our third crew member to recruit here. Hey, Polly. There we go. So, you kids are recruiting new members for your crew? Well, you've come to the right place. They don't call it Sailor's Island for nothing. I'm sure you'll find plenty of candidates for your crew. Actually, Polly, we were wondering if maybe you'd like to join our crew. We'd be delighted if you would come with us and be our cook. You're probably the best cook we know. What? You want me to be your cook? This is a joke, right? Well, ever since the sailor that I married got shipwrecked during one of his voyages to the east, I've had to make ends meet by running this tavern with my only daughter, Anne. I can't suddenly just pick up and leave. Why not, Mother? Go ahead and go. You've always said, Mother, that you wished you had a ship so you could go and look for Father. I don't even remember my father's face, you know. If anything, do it for me. Go find my father and bring him home. Don't worry about the tavern. I can take care of things while you're away. Anne. Thank you, Anne. I will find your father and bring him home to show him what a wonderful daughter he has. I promise. Well, I guess this is it then. If you were serious about your offer, I'd be happy to join your crew. Leave the ship's galley to me. I'll cook up lots of tasty food loaded with nutrition. All right, so Polly has joined our crew as a cook. All right. And now uh, Anne is... Sorry, too much Persona 5. I wanted to call her on. Uh, Anne is uh, running the tavern. So there's a couple of people we can pick up in Nasrod. Yeah, I said we weren't going to be back to Nasrod. Well, Nasrod as it was with the shops and stuff, yeah, that's gone. But Nasrod itself still exists. So... We follow, just follow the, um, follow the reef. There's black pirates around here for ship combat, but yeah. Just follow the south, Daniel straight.
Ika's Lambda Burst. Good thing. Um. <coughs> right. Uh, map. Yeah, we're, we're, okay, so we're going to have to turn north a bit. But if we come this way, this is the this is the street we couldn't go through because it was patrolled by Nasser ships. Now, yep, and there's Nasrod. So let's uh, go check out the sadly battered jewel of the desert. Um. Box one, two, no, this box is not any good either. When only this many survive the fire, you cannot miscount even if you want to. Ouch. So we can look around. There's not a hell of a lot. As you can see, a lot of this area has just been decimated. And the, yeah, the, you can't get through there. But you remember how I had noticed those uh, that ladder last time? Well, he's not running this time. I came and the place is burned to the ground. What a shock! There's almost nothing being sold in the shops, and even what's available is so expensive. But I still have to replenish my supplies somehow. Yeah, that's one of the problems with this kind of area. Boss Kazim is in the turret on top of the wall. Boss says he's going to attack Falua and get revenge, even if he has to do it all by himself. My job was to defend Nazra, but we were completely helpless to do anything. It makes me damn angry, and I'd sure like to go beat Falua to a pulp. Uh, it's burned too. The merchants must have taken a pretty big hit. Yep. Alright, up. There we go. Yeah, so, um, I don't think I could have done anything the last time. But I can do something now. Alright. Herg! Crap! Damn it all! They called me the best gunner around! I was Kazim, the crack shot! But I let down my guard, and before I could do anything to stop them, the enemy turned the whole city to dust. You guys didn't have the firepower in this emplacement to deal with them. It really chaps my hide. I think I will fly right over to Valua and give them a blast in the chops. Really? Calm down, calm down. You do anything like that and you'll get blasted right back. It's way too reckless. <laughs> so says the man who was so reckless as to escape from Valua twice over? What is that? Y you are not! Could you be that pirate vice who abducted the Valuan prince and blasted your way out of the Grand Fortress? Well, I don't know about the abducted part, but otherwise, yes, I am indeed vice. Where is that jerk who calls himself the Tick? I am that jerk! In that case, you've got to do this for me, vice! Let me join your crew! Just put on a shirt, dude! I will never be satisfied until I have delivered a blow from my cannon to Valua. I must join forces with you and become your ship's gunner. Good! It is decided. Well, well, it doesn't sound like you'll take no for an answer. So I suppose we might as well have you come aboard. <sighs> I believe you can get a full, full, like, 22 people. There are 11 positions on your ship. And each one you can get a stand... You can have two people fill. A standard and an alternate. And depending on who you put in the position, you will get extra um, perks. Like, there is something called the crew command. Some people, some... Gah! Can we just... Thank you! Um, some crew members will up your stats. Some will give you a special ability when you use the crew command. Yeah, welcome to Nasrod. Oh boy. 
I never expected the Nazrian forces to collapse so easily before Valuan attack. Alas, no one ever dreamed that Valuans could come through the North Danel Strait with the Skyrift blocking the way. They were caught so completely off guard that the Kalans on the Palin's wall never got off its and boy, was seemed mad. We, we noticed. But, you know, on the off chance that you did not... So apparently there was a way up to the uh, weapon and our item shops all the time. They are... I don't think there's anything good we can get in the weapon and item shops now, but we can get this Moonberry. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Alright. And here, fountain. This fountain. Let's see. At least the water's still flowing. Yes, thank you, Vice. There's a cham around here. But I can't remember, is it on... Maybe it's on this one? Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll try over on this side. Yes, it's over here. Thank you. There we go. A massive bombing raid turned the bazaar into a heap of rubble. It had to be closed because it was too dangerous. Well, since my house was burned down and all my valuables were confiscated, I wouldn't really be able to afford anything anyway. Without money or a place to play, the only thing left for us to do is to sit here and whisper sweet nothings to each other by the fountain. Well, it's good to know that your relationship is built on something stronger than money. Can we still come in here? We can! Oh yeah, let's check this thing out. It's a wanted poster. Mm, nope, no one I know. Terror pirates having a price on your head is sort of a status thing. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy. Is that the legendary Decat's coin? How did you find it? I will pay you 20,000 gold for it. Yeah, let's let's sell him the coin. We don't, you know. And now, uh, talk about various things. I never imagined Valua could have perfected a ship that could blast through the stone reef. Really? If I had known that before, I would have left many moons ago. What a mistake. Dude, the little Jack could get through the stone reef. All right, there's some discoveries that I can find and probably will want to do. <sighs> And then come back here before we... Well, you know what? I should have... Probably should have done that first. Um, dude, wrong way. I keep... I actually forgot. There's so much I didn't notice. My first trip here. Uh, but yeah, now that we have all that money, we can continue on with the, um, money gate I told you about. Um, but there are some... Discoveries... Which are actually on our way, sort of. Well, they're a little past Crescent Isle. So, I'm going to just... Uh, that's our ship. Our ship's over there. So, I'm going to go back and we're going to save it here. And next time, we will go out, find those discoveries, and go to Crescent Isle to move on with the plot. So... Thank you guys for joining me for uh, Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. Come on, come on. Let's save. Yes. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.